What is up YouTube? I'm Jared. You are watching Spinning Wheel. Today is going to be a very short video because I usually film Mondays and then upload Tuesdays so that it gives me like some time to edit and whatever. But today is, um, it's literally just going to be showing you some really cool stuff that I just got. I just bought some new camera gear for the channel. Hopefully it will help out with some of the video shoots that I do as far as, um, like glamour shot videos for the cars and whatnot that I test drive in the future um, and then also for like at car shows and stuff anyways um, I do have to work in a couple hours so I'm not super excited about that so that's another reason why this video is gonna be a little bit shorter um, just a busy week this week and people are honking I don't know what's going on anyways I just kinda wanted to show you the equipment that I got explain a little bit why I got it and um, some of the features about them and that's about it, so let's just get right into it. So the first piece of camera equipment I got is this, um, this right here. It's supposed to be like a camera stabilizer, and uh, basically you just mount the camera at the top there. There's weights on the bottom, hold it on the grip, just kind of like that. And it's supposed to, it's, uh, here, let me show you. It's supposed to be kind of loose so that when you're spinning around and stuff, it doesn't move a whole lot when you're panning and, and doing stuff like that. So anyways, this over here, which is like a giant collapsible selfie stick type thing, um, but it's really, really cool. It's got a little tripod in the handle. It's super lightweight. You can bend it all different ways and stuff. And uh, it means that I can actually have my hand down or my arm down a little bit lower. Well, here. It means that I can have my, my arm hanging down just a little bit as opposed to having to kind of have my hand out here and my arms straight out and you know stretch and be like hey what's up um, so it's just a little bit more natural I guess um, for me to have it this way and it just it's more comfortable and like I said there is and like I said there's a tripod in the bottom here you just basically unscrew everything and there's a little mini tripod just in case you need it for whatever reason, but super handy. So it's like a two in one, three in one, whatever. So we're just gonna hit up a little teeny spot real quick just to get some sample videos with the new camera equipment. Oh, I really just wanna check out the stay cam and see how it does. So I'm just gonna kinda do a quick little walk around to the car um, and see how it works and uh, kinda go from there. But um, I figured I'd put all the uh, little bits and pieces to use. So I've got the little tripod here and we're gonna set it up. I'm gonna take the top down of the car and whatnot. And uh, just kind of do a little fun little uh, video real quick. So not too bad. And actually, I kind of like this. I can actually hold the tripod. Um, it still kind of feels weird holding it, but you know, if I'm in the car or whatever, it's it's not that bad, honestly. It's actually kind of cool. You can, it's literally hand size, and uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. But we are gonna go drive to this little spot. It's just kind of like someplace real close by um, that. location and uh, it just it's an empty parking lot and I feel like it's gonna be a good spot for some pictures and doing some stuff that would be kind of cool so we're gonna go check this place out and uh, check out the state of cam like I said maybe a couple other different features of the camera gear that I got so It's old, man. <laughs> yeah. So, since lowering the front end of the car, I've actually
actually had to change my route to get out of my apartment um, just because the driveway to the main road from my, like the way that I normally go, um, is way too steep. And if I take it at an angle and I go a little too fast, I'm gonna rub the front, the left fender. So I still have to adjust it a little bit, but so I've been changing up my route until then. And it's just a little bit longer, but lowered life, right? Stance life, whatever you want to call it. Because race car, it's not a race car, so I, I don't know why I would say that. footage. cam I'm not sure how well it worked it still seems a little bit wobbly um, and I probably don't have this weight properly aligned to give it the best uh, footage or whatever but anyways um, when this is locking nut or screw right here that's supposed to lock the handle in place but it doesn't work anymore you tighten it and it goes all over I haven't done a photo shoot of the car since like Euro Hangar, and even then I think I only took like one maybe two pictures of the car. So I just took a couple random pictures of the car now that it's been lowered and uh, those will end up on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please do. It's just Jared underscore Kellogg. You can follow me below. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So anyways, that's it for this video basically. Um, hopefully the videos of the city cam came out well. I still have to probably play with it and play with the weighting and um, all that stuff to get the uh, to get it just right. But um, for now, it seems like it's still just a little bit wobbly when I'm walking. I think it's probably just a good thing for when you're just like panning because it's going to keep it steady when your hand would move normally on on a pan. So uh, that's about the only difference I can really see or the uses for the Steadicam, but. We'll see, I'll take a look at the footage and see how it is, but that's kind of how it felt. So anyways, we're gonna go home now and edit this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't checked, the, checked out the other videos, please do so. Also, if you haven't subscribed, do that as well. Hit that subscribe button. It'd mean a lot to me, and it means that um, people like what I do. So hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it yagging, I'll see you all later.